So I want to add on to the previous video. So we just ended our walk. We did much better coming back home, as well as after he showed some signs of being stubborn and wanted to lay down in front of the house. And once we walked around, we ran across a neighbor and she stated that she remembered Blue and remembered how he used to walk and also pointed out that he was doing much better. So that's a good sign when other people see it. So I want to reward him for the walk. He's already in the seat position. So I'll just go ahead and give him his treat. Here you go. And also a question was presented. I can't remember the woman's name, but I reached out to her because she said that she was a, a veterinarian, a groomer and a breeder, I believe. So the question was, was blue dog and kid friendly? Now, the question was presented was do she know any locations that we can go to in case me and my wife go on a vacation, anything like that? So that was my question and her question in return was, is blue dog and kid friendly? To answer that question, truthfully, he's only been around my godchildren um, and no one under the age of, let's say eight or nine. And as far as other dogs, every time my neighbor, his dog is out, or my other neighbor, even when we did take walks, and people be walking their dogs, we would just sit and look at them. Just like with my neighbor, his dog would be out, her dog would be working, and we would do exactly what he's on right now and just look at him. So I really don't know how he would react if there's other dogs in his space walking around and different things like that. As far as kids, he plays with my godchildren when they were around him. He did nibble a little bit um, because of the excitement, I guess. I'm not too sure, but it wasn't a bite to where it was harm them. The few times that we interact with other people that was not family, just like the neighbor I was telling you about, he ran over to her, she walked over to him, and she pet him. His tail was wagging, he was very gentle, and it was good. The other time when we did the Home Depot video, he and a family walked over to him, pet him. The little girl was letting him lick her in the face and all of that, and to be honest, I was nervous, because if he, if he bit her, then we would have some big issues, but he didn't and he was good. So as far as the answer, I really don't know. I'm going to keep praying. I hope that he doesn't do anything crazy. I didn't raise him to be that way, so I don't want to put negativity in the air, but you never know. It's all about vibes. If the person gives a bad vibe, normally if you're a human being, you will walk away or distance yourself. The animal's a little bit different. If they don't like you, they'll bark. If they don't they feel as though you're intruding. They want to do something. That's what that's what they do. So, but overall, let's get back to it. I want to give you Miss Treat. She definitely earned them. Come here, Blue. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Paul. Oh, you dropped it. Give me a paw. Give me a paw again. You dropped it. Good boy. Good boy. All right, last one, man. Stay. I'm not gonna go this go far, but stay. Come here, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Oh man, you got that one, man.
When you finish that one, I got another one for you. That's it. Good boy. There you go. There you go. So if you're taking a look at this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out. It lets me know what I need to do better. And I appreciate it.